Hello you, it's T-Bone Pearson here uh, with, I'm on nofilmschool.com and we're reading this article and I've also got an email from DGI uh, warning about this and I just wanted to do a video about it just in case you guys don't know about it because uh, it's a little uh, scary. Um, so basically you have to register with DGI uh, to be able to fly your drone and I think it's happening like this week they're gonna cut off how high you can go it looks like 98 feet and a flight radius of 164 feet till you register so this could really bite someone in the butt uh, if they're uh, going out to uh, you know shoot something or uh, you know play around and all of a sudden um, you can't use your drone so yeah, it's not the worst idea in the world they just want to be able to track you um, but I think they may be going too far with it. And it has to do with, I think, FAA rules that just passed. Uh, now, I'm not sure how uh, this works in Canada. I know they've been passing a lot of laws as well. Um, but it's, it's getting ridiculous. I don't know. What do you guys think? I know there's a lot of people who fly drones, who watch my videos. What do you guys think of all these regulations? It just seems um, getting insane. Now, at the bottom of the article, it says that even Syria and Iraq, you can't fly at all, uh, which sort of sucks if you live there. But, um, yeah. So what do you guys think of this, the excessive regulations of them and DJI actually like shutting down your drone until you register? That could really, you know, if you didn't know about it, I uh, could really, uh, if you went on, went on a trip somewhere and you had it with you and you didn't have Wi-Fi access and couldn't register, you'd be sort of screwed. Uh, anyways, guys, comment below. Let me know you guys what you think. Have you guys got an email like me? Uh, and I will talk to you guys soon. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.